arrested on allegations of robbery, uh, which he denies. Today he appeared before a magistrate court. Our reporter Mauro Fofana was in court and he joins me now. Mauro, what is this, you know, the case against the boss, actually? Hi, Kaine. Well, I made a heavy security presence around the court today. The state called in their first prosecution witness, who is a pump attendant at the field station where the armed, uh, the alleged violent um, robbery and assault um, was said to have happened. The witness said that on Sunday, the 12th of June, the hip hop artist and his gang arrived at the fuel station, apparently to buy petrol. He said two of those traveling with him started insulting the lady pump attendant using exp- expressions and words replete with expletives, I mean, to say on air. She nevertheless went ahead and pumped the 27 liters of fuel. The prosecution witness said that LAJ at some point got out of the car at the invitation of one of his travel mates and slapped the lady pump attendant, scolded him, the witness, and as uh, he was carrying the sales bag on that day, took the money away and drove off without paying for the petrol. There was, there was a police chase and uh, he was arrested in the east end of town. The alleged incident had happened in the west of town. And these are allegations he denies. What did he look like, you know, amid the uh, police uh, admitting to have uh, shaven off his dreadlocks as well? LAJ looked a shadow of his former self. This is a well-built man with cascading dreadlocks. I mean, if he went past his fans now, and uh, he has a huge fan base among young people here, they would barely recognize him because he looked uh, broken down, he looked uh, forlorn, you know, with a very long face, and of course, with the absence of those dreadlocks. So clearly, he is not the man, even by the admission of the magistrate in court today, he looked different to what he's used to seeing whenever he had been in court before him. That's uh, really interesting. And sort of tell us a little bit about him. You know, what sort of person is he? I was reading up a little bit uh, about his profile, about his uh, character. Is he as controversial as, as what you read on, on the uh, websites? Umaru? And I think we might have just lost Umaru there. We're going to try and get him back. Hello, Kani. Are you there? Hello, yes, Kani. you are there. Yes, we've got you yes. back. Sorry, sorry, I lost you there. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I was just asking you about what sort of uh, person uh, Boss L.A.J. is. Uh, from what I was reading online, he, he comes across as a controversial character. Is he? He is controversial, um, Kani. He is a man. He's a very good artist. People say he sings very well. He's a good rapper. You know, but that's, that's it. He's, he divides, at, I mean, public uh, attention sentiments here. Some see him as a god. Some see him as a devil incarnate. He was deported from the United States, um, I mean, after some trial there and some, some uh, going in out, and out of prison. And since his return to Sierra Leone, he's, he's had a running with the law at different times. I mean, there was a point when he allegedly slapped a police officer right inside the police station where he had gone to answer to some charges as well by the police. And then that matter was taken to court. Nine times he did not appear in court. The magistrate issued a warrant, uh, I mean, for his arrest. He was eventually arrested. And it coincided with a very, um, you know, profane video he had put out against a female broadcaster in the country. So he's, he's a man who is very controversial in and out of police uh, stations and all the rest of it. Okay. And, uh, you know, talk to us about his supporters. Were they outside the court? You know, d- does he have them in, in big numbers, uh, for instance? He does have a huge fan base here. Um, they, they didn't appear today around the court building because there was a huge uh, security presence. But also 12 other people, mostly his fans, are also standing trial for riot for alleged riotous behavior after they had gone to the police station where he was being held and they are now being tried. And the fact that you have this police presence would clearly tell you why they are not around. But they are very active on social media and they're even active along the streets of Freetown. They were not in court today for the fact that the police cordoned off the area. Okay, uh, that's really interesting. Tomorrow, no doubt we're going to be uh, following this case very closely as well. Uh, Umaru Fofana telling us there about the case of uh, Boss L.A.J. Uh, on the allegations of uh, robbery, which he obviously uh, denies. A fascinating character, which we will bring you up to date on that case here on Focus as we get it. And no doubt return to Umaru Fofana.